Hi there, welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to be showing you how to create what's called an azimuth orthographic projection. Now it sounds fancy but what it basically means is taking your normal WGS84 map and turning it into what looks like a globe. So the first thing you need to do is create your own CRS. So if you just copy the uh, text in the YouTube page below, uh, I've got mine in a text editor here, so copy that and go to settings Custom CRS, add new CRS and give it a name. I'm going to call mine Heathrow because I'm centering my globe on Heathrow Airport. And if you want to set your globe centered on somewhere else, the figures you need to change are this latitude number and this longitude number. So if you want to center it somewhere else, find the latitude and longitude of it and put it in those two places. So OK that. And then to bring up your projection, go to project properties which is command shift P and scroll down to user defined coordinate systems and there you'll find it there. So OK that and you'll see it reproject your map onto a globe centered on the UK. What you'll also notice is these a couple of strange lines coming out. Um, you need to get rid of those and to do that um, you need to copy the large um, section of code on the YouTube page below and paste it into a text editor and then save it. I'll call it circle.py and save it to your desktop or anywhere you can find it easily. Then what you need to do is navigate to your application folder and click on the QGIS and then control click show package contents and that will open up the contents folder inside resources and then open up python folder and what you want to do is literally just drag your circle py file and drop it in there and there you'll see it okay back to QGIS go to plugins Python console and in this text field here where it's got the four arrows, three arrows, type in import circle. Uh, make sure you click, if you just hit enter now it will type in cycle color so just click in there and then hit enter. So now that's imported the circle Python script you now need to do this command which will then create your clipping circle. But before you do that, you must click on a layer first. If you don't have any layers first clicked, it will throw up an error. So click on countries first and then type in circle dot do clip I face. And this is where you put in your latitude and longitude from your projection. So copy the latitude, comma, space, and then longitude. I'm going to put this in the um, on the YouTube page. You can and then hit enter. And you can see it's created a clip this folder, folder file. Um, what you won't be able to do is see it. Um, what you need to do is bring up the properties. So go properties and then turn off this simplified geography checkbox under the rendering section. Okay, that, and you should see a circle appear. Okay, so that's your um, circle that you're gonna use to clip your layers to. So clipping is very simple, you can do all three layers at the same time. So you need to go to view, tool panels and toolbox and open up the algorithms, vector, overlay and you've got this clip um, algorithm here. What you need to do is control click on it, execute as batch process and then it will ask for some input layers. So click on these three dots here, select from open layers. What that basically means is the layers on your file and not having to go searching through your folders for it. So I want the lakes, the countries and the borders, not the clip disk because that's the one I'm actually going to clip to. Okay that, and you'll always see a, a, a spare layer at the bottom. So just delete the row and that will get rid of that bottom one. Now you need to define a clip layer Select from open layers, click on clip disk, OK that. 
And in order to fill it in the other ones, just double click on this clip layer here. And it should fill in the other three fields. Like so. Now clipped, click on the three dots and create a folder in your um, project. I've called mine clipped. And then give your file a prefix clipped underscore. What this will do is it will add this to all of your input layers. So if you save that and select fill with parameter values and then hit OK. And you can see it's basically created the file, shapefiles clipped underscore lake, clipped underscore countries. It's basically so you don't get duplication of um, uh, shapefile names. So I'm going to not load this in QGIS. And what you just need to do now is click the Run button. And it will do its thing. So what that's basically doing is it's using your circle that you created using the Python script and is clipping the three shapefile layers to the circle. Now it shouldn't take too long. I think mine's chugging a little bit because I've got quick time movie with doing this recording at the same time. So it's taking a little bit of time. So there we go. So okay that. Close. And now I'm going to get rid of these three layers. I don't need them anymore. So remove those layers and then add the new ones in. So browse. Go to the clipped folder and add in your newly clipped shapefiles. OK that. And then open. And let's just put the clip disk at the bottom. OK, now what you'll see is what looks like a complete mess. Now, don't be worried. What's basically happened is, is with the custom projection, you need to go into each layer and change the simplified geometries. So you basically just need to turn them off. So that's properties, rendering, turn off the simplified geometry. OK, that. Same for the countries, properties, uncheck that, and the borders, same thing, properties, uncheck the geometry, okay that. <clears throat> so now we've got our glow perfectly clipped, no funny lines coming off the side, ready to go. So I'm just going to quickly change the colour because I want them to be um, how I had them before. So no stroke and a dark gray. Okay, that. And the borders, I want to be white. So properties, simple line, change the color to white. Okay, that. And same goes for the legs. I want the legs to be white as well. Properties, simple fill, no stroke, and white fill. Okay, that. I'm just going to move the lake above the country so you can see it. There we go. Okay, so now that's our globe clipped nice and neat and tidy. And now in the next lesson, I'm going to quickly show you how to add grid lines to your um, globe so you can see a nice curvature of the latitude and longitude lines.